Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to show you something that I wish I had the entire time I have been using my Cricut. It is Creative Fabrica's Font Cloud. It is totally free. <laughs> and so it's, I'm not selling anything, I promise. It's totally free and what's cool is, and let, let me launch it because it does take a couple seconds to launch. You type in Creative Fabrica on here and then you wanna go under tools. Oh, so first off, you do have to have an account, but the account is free to open. There's no cost to you at all. You just need to, you know, just like you would Facebook, right? So create your account and then under tools, you wanna to go to Font Cloud. So what Font Cloud does is it maintains, so if this pops up, click open Font Cloud. This is what's gonna take just a few seconds, but it is so worth it. So what it does is, um, excuse me, every time you download a font, so whether you're downloading from Defont, um, from Font Bundles, from Creative Fabrica, wherever, you're also going to upload it here. And did I click it? I did, right? Okay. Um, so this is what pops up. Now what happens is when you drop in, it is an extra step, but let me tell you why it's worth it. So every time you download a font, you're also going to drop your fonts in Font Cloud. And here's why. Because since I've had my maker, so I've had it for, it'll be three years this month, I think. Um, I've probably used five different devices. I used an old laptop when I started, that laptop, laptop died and I had some fonts on there. So as you can see, and you know, like when you download your fonts, you're downloaded it, you're downloading to that device. And so if I go to use it on my laptop and not my desktop, or if I go to a friend's house and we decide to do it, I don't have access to all those fonts, but, or imagine if your laptop died or you lost it, right? So every time you download a font, no matter where you get it from, you're gonna upload it or drop it into here. Now this is some cool features. So this kind of works like, you don't need to print anything. I've seen in a lot of Facebook groups, people print out all their fonts and I'm like, you're gonna have to reprint it every time you <laughs> download a font or it's gonna be out of order or whatever. So in this case, you know, I always do stuff for my daughter, Charlotte. So you type in Charlotte and I get to see all my fonts that I have, right? And um, I don't know, like I like, and this is one of my favorites, but it doesn't matter what it is. But let's say, um, I actually don't think I have this font on this particular device that I'm recording on. So this is Floristia. This is also one of my favorite fonts. So let's say I like this one, right? I want it for my project, but oh, I'm on my laptop and I don't have this one. And I'm trying to remember where did I download it from? Was it free? you know, and you're trying to track it, well, you could just go here and click download font. Ta-da! <laughs> and your font is on. So now in design space, I mean, once you download, you need to open it, right? And this pops up and you need to install it. So we're installing it to this particular device. Now, once we install, if you have design space open, you do need to close it out. So hold on. I'm working on my logo. <laughs> I'm just gonna close it out, quit, and you need to reopen it. So let me close out all of my design space. Okay. Then you're gonna reopen. And once it opens up, that font will be available. That's all you have to do is you have to make sure that you close it. If it's not already closed, close it, and then um, your font will be there. So let's go into new project and just double check. So under my text, we just added Floristia. And there it is. And of course, I mean, it's not gonna connect it the way we saw it. That's just a design space um, quirk. <laughs> Cause I love, I love Cricut and I love design space, but this, it should be connected, but it isn't. So I will show you how to do that, but let's go back to Font Cloud for just another second. So you get to see all of your um, glyphs, all of, all of the items that come with that particular font. So I really love it. For me, because I use so many different devices and I will go and 
teach at Michael's or do my own Zoom class and I'm using different um, different devices, I don't always you know, download to every device. And now I don't need to, I only need to download it when I want it for a particular project, right? So like, let's say again, so I'm gonna close out of this. Let's say my next one, I just did um, a calendar for my daughter. So let's say I wanna see what September looks like. Okay, I want a more um, printy kind of like font because she's in kindergarten. And let's just say I like Lemon Crush. I'm pretty sure I don't have Lemon Crush on this one. So I'm gonna download the font. And I, and I didn't have it right because here it is, it's coming up. So I'm gonna um, show in folder because I wanna see where it is. Okay, here we go. Oops. And double click on it and install. And again, I'm gonna close out of design space and then open it back up and it will be available. So see how cool that is? I don't need to remember. I used to have a Google spreadsheet on all the fonts, uh, where I downloaded it from, because if I want to use it again, um, and then I also kept track to whether I had commercial usage or not. So that's one of that's another reason why I actually like having a membership with Creative Fabrica, but that's another story. <laughs> we can talk about that another day. Now, with the fonts, I want to show you Inkscape. So let's open up Inkscape. Oops, here we go. And let's open it up and I'll show you in a second. Um, so these are kind of like my two favorite tools right now. Let's see if it's gonna open up for me. Okay, here we go. Let me pull it over to my screen that I'm recording on. Oh, where are you? There. Okay, I'm gonna do a new one. All right, here we go. So I know we just did Floristia, right? So Floristia should be in here. I'm gonna to go to text. So click on your text and then, I feel like I always have to go out of it and go back in it to scroll. There's like just so many glitches. <laughs> All right, so here's Floristia. Here's my text bubble and I'm gonna type in Charlotte now you can see it's super small, right? So go to your arrow, click on this, and make sure that your, your lock button is locked. So right now it's unlocked. So just like Design Space, click on it, it's locked. Now I'm gonna make it really big so you can see it. Okay. So here's Charlotte, I'm gonna make it even bigger. So I wanna make an offset. So right now this is selected, right? I'm going to click in the white area so nothing is selected. I wanna click on my paint bucket. I'm gonna pick any color. This does not matter what color you pick because when we go into design space, we can then design away, pick the different colors that we want. Now, then you're gonna go up to here, the grow or shrink by. If you want to make it smaller, you're gonna put a negative sign in front of the number. If you wanna make it bigger, I like to grow it by at least 10. 10 is a very thin offset. I personally like to do 20, 40, and 60, and then do all three and bring it into design space. So I'm gonna do 20 right now so you can see what that looks like. So I am gonna click like right here. Ta-da! <laughs> so that gave us the offset for this whole thing because it's connected, right? This C is not connected, so I'm gonna do the C, perfect. Now I'm gonna go and click on my arrow, and the C was the last thing we worked on, so it's highlighted. Click in the white space here, go click on your paint bucket, let's click on a different color, and we're gonna grow it by 40 this time. I'm gonna again click on the C, I mean look at that offset, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and I'm gonna click somewhere over here, yes! Okay, arrow key, click on that, grab everything, go to path, object to path, then file, save as. So I'm gonna save as Charlotte offset. I mean, I'm always doing a Charlotte offset, so I'm gonna do 9, 20, 20. I'm gonna save it. Let's go into design space. Now in design space, I'm actually going to close it out because I think we've uploaded something since then. And then I'm gonna go and open up a new design space. So give me a second, I'm gonna open this up. 
and I'll bring it over. So um, did I convince you yet to do both Creative Fabrica Font Cloud and Design and Inkscape? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Let's go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. And it was Charlotte Offset 9, so here we go. Save and insert images. Okay. All right, so let's make this big so you can see it. Here it is. I'm going to ungroup it. Now, I all I do in Inkscape pretty much, I very rarely do any designing in there because in Inkscape, I'm just not good and comfortable with it. it I'm so slow. I'd rather go to a more clunkier design space and you know have my workarounds there. So this blue, you can see in the right-hand side panel, um, it is in two pieces, right? So grab the first blue, hit your shift key, grab the other blue and weld it. And sorry, I have something in my screen. <laughs> weld it. All right, so here's Charlotte completely welded this offset. Now, if you notice, there's like little cuts. I would actually click contour because this is my most back layer. So this is three layers. This is the one all the way in the back. I actually like to hide all. So it's just one big piece, okay? Our pink layer, the C is separated from the rest of her name because you can see it here. So now let's grab that pink C and the pink rest of her name and click weld. And so now you can see it drops down like this. And so, you, you know, it's personal preference whether you wanted that little opening here and in the H to me. I just like my third layer, I like it to be solid and strong. Like whatever you're using using it for, like a cake topper or whatever, like I want it like sort of a solid piece to give me really good structure. Um, okay, then what we have left is the top layer Charlotte. I like to weld it as well. And here we go. Looking beautiful as ever. And then I usually grab the three and go to align and center it just so that visually I can see it perfectly. I mean, obviously we're gonna cut it and then put it together in whatever um, medium that you want, whether it's vinyl, cardstock, you know. Um, now, if we were doing other things, normally what else I would do is I would group it together so that when I'm designing, when I make changes to the sizing, that I'm sizing all three of them at the same time. So I like to group it. Now, if you wanna make changes to the color while it's grouped, that is still very, very easy. You just go into your right-hand side panel and select one. Like this purple one, I actually want it to be white. So I am just change it to white. And then this light blue in the back, I want it to be um, maybe this light purple. And then my top black layer, I don't want it that, I want it to be a dark purple. And there you have it. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanna show you. Well, I guess with Font Cloud, hold on. Hold on, let's go over here. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna show you how to download something. Let's bring it over here. Let's go to... We'll go into Creative Fabrica because I like it so much. Then I can talk about it too. So um, if you're going to do Font Cloud, if you can use my link because I'm an affiliate, they you know just keep track of how well I do. So even though it's a free account, if you use my link, I would greatly appreciate it. So I will include that in the video. So let's say you create the account. Um, now I have a membership to um, Creative Fabrica. So it basically gives me access to all the fonts and all the images. Why I like that is because then it's sort of like my design space access, but a little bit better because I don't download until I actually need something. And then with the images, because I'm downloading it outside of design space, I can then upload it into Inkscape and create an offset. So if that makes sense, let's say I'm downloading an ice cream image, right? If I was using that ice cream image and it was a design space, design space access image, I couldn't create an offset because I can't get that out of design space into Inkscape, right? But if I'm on Creative Fabrica, I'm downloading it, I can upload it into Inkscape and create that offset. So that's one of the main reasons why 
I really like having this one. And also, all my um, fonts, oh, this one's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna download Dorothy, because it looks thick, it's, it's delicate, but it looks like it's gonna cut well, so I'm gonna download this. Okay, so let's download. I'm gonna show in folder because you need to unzip it, right? So here's Dorothy, I'm gonna double click on it and I want the OTF file. So here's Dorothy, I'm gonna double click on it to open it. I'm gonna install, okay? But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna drop Dorothy into my desktop, okay? And the reason is I'm gonna go back over here and shoot, did I have Creative Fabrica already open? or font cloud already open? I thought I did. Maybe I closed out of it, okay. <laughs> Talking to myself. Go back to tools, go to font cloud. And I wanna make sure I get it into font cloud because right now, Dorothy is only on this device. If I use my laptop later, I'm not gonna have it. I'm gonna have to re-download it. Or I could just download it whenever I use it on my next um, project, when I need to, right? So here I'm gonna click browse. And I'm gonna go to my desktop and it's called Dorothy. Where are you? Double click on it. So now Dorothy is in here, okay? So let's pretend now we're on my laptop or I'm at a friend's house and she also has a Cricut. Okay, so here is, where's Dorothy? Is it not in alphabet? order? Where's my Dorothy? So Dorothy's here, but I don't see Dorothy in my, it should be right here. <laughs> All right, so let's, I'm just going to refresh this and see. But what I like, like I said, is the next time I go into a different device, or if heaven forbid this, this, computer setup uh, dies on me and I get a new one. I don't have to worry about all these fonts, these beautiful fonts that I've been downloading. Um, it's just easy for me to do it that way. And I, like I said, I don't down, re-download everything. Um, I wonder if I have to get out of it. So let me go. Um, I only download when I'm working on a project and I like that font. I, there's just no reason to have all of it when you have the font cloud because I can always test out the font whether or not I want to use it and if I do and if I don't have it then I'll download it so see how that makes sense <laughs> okay but let's make sure that it's working so let's go to font cloud and open it up I always feel like did I click on it okay there I did okay and let's see if it's here now. Oh, there's Dorothy. Okay, so maybe it's just like design space. You gotta close it and go out of it. Okay, so here's Charlotte, and here's my beautiful Dorothy. So if I click on it, I can see, um, you know, all the different ways that this, how this font comes. And then if I don't have it, I can just download it here. I don't need to remember where I got it from originally. Um, so that's why I love it. That's why I love the membership, but you just let me know, all right? So drop me some comments, let me know what you think, um, and comments, questions, okay? And then if you have any special requests. All right, see you next time, bye.